The dental hand pieces you work with every day, whether high or slow speed, are precision instruments designed to bring years of service when cared for properly. In this edition of Tech Tips, we've compiled a list of handy maintenance tips to help you get the best performance from your hand pieces. Before operating your handpiece, always carefully read and follow the manufacturer's instructions for use. These are the procedures that the manufacturer recommends for the best performance of the instrument. Use only the tools the manufacturer supplied with the handpiece. For example, never use pliers on a handpiece to avoid damage. A toothbrush and hot, soapy water can be used to clean the handpiece threads and handle knurls. The handpiece exterior can also be washed with a germicidal detergent or cleaner. We also offer a handpiece scrubber to aid in pre-cleaning handpieces and instruments. Brushes inside the unit scrub off debris and the suction cup base holds the scrubber in place. Never immerse your handpiece in cold, sterile, or chemical disinfectants containing phenols, acids, or chlorines. They can damage and corrode some metals. Handpiece fiber optic surfaces can be cleaned using isopropyl alcohol or acetone on a cotton applicator. Don't pick the fiber optic ends with any type of sharp instrument. The quick disconnect connections and handpiece exterior can also be wiped down with isopropyl alcohol. American Dental Accessories recommends cleaning and lubricating the handpiece before each autoclave cycle, and we offer several lubricants and cleaners specifically approved for this operation. Handpiece lubricants and cleaners are only sprayed or dropped into the drive air hole of a handpiece. The exhaust hole does not connect to the turbine. Flush or purge your handpiece after every lubrication and before sterilizing. For best results, we recommend the use of a dedicated flushing and lubricating system. We offer several systems that are easy to set up and that do an excellent job of cleaning and lubricating your hand pieces as evidenced after a cycle in the pads from the flush systems that you see here. When autoclaving or chemoclaving handpieces, do not exceed temperatures of 275 degrees Fahrenheit or 135 degrees Celsius. Use autoclave bags with at least one paper side as they'll allow moisture to escape. Never use all plastic bags. Always separate attachments from your slow speed motors and bag them separately for the autoclave. Don't autoclave your handpiece nose cone or latch head with a burr in place. There may be a corrosive reaction between the different metallic surfaces resulting in damage. Manufacturers typically suggest that you have the drive air pressure set at 30 pounds per square inch. On most units you would set your drive air pressure on the handpiece selection block similar to the block pictured here. Normally anything in excess of 40 psi would only cause damage to the turbine without increasing performance. This Beaver State unit is only reading 15 to 20 pounds of pressure, which seems a little low. Be aware, though, that the pressure that you read on the gauge of the unit can differ by up to 10 psi. In order to verify the pressure that is really coming through the handpiece hose, we suggest using a handpiece pressure gauge. You would use this device to set the correct pressure at your block. As you can see, the gauge on the hose reads about 32 psi, so we were able to determine no adjustment was needed on the block at this time. So keep these tips in mind while maintaining your hand pieces, and you will ensure the longevity of the turbine and eliminate unnecessary downtime.